Hi guys, Simply Natural here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm just going to show you how I decorated my April bullet journal and also give you a flip through of what I did for the month of April. I know it's late, but I still wanted to share it with you guys. All right. I decided to go with the team Let Love Rain because in April, hubby and I celebrated six years of being married and it was awesome so I just wanted to reflect on the team that I had for my wedding my wedding was mostly DIY and yeah we chose that team because we met under an umbrella at school so if you want to hear more of that story I will be sure to link that video because we did do a video um, I will be sure to link that video at the top and in the description box this team also came in handy because we all know the term April showers so yeah I really like the rain team but instead of it being you know literal rain it's let love rain all right so i decided to incorporate my favorite colors which is purple and different shades of purple we also had that at the wedding as well so i just kind of played off of that and used the different shades of purple i had in my color pencil pack and just one marker I used that I really liked and it was this Crayola Super Tips this was the perfect shade of purple for the marker so I used that right and I used different brands of the color pencils to get different shades so I chose purple and silver because those are my colors for our wedding, so. So I'm just giving you a flip through of what my April bullet journal looked like. Yes, yeah, so I did this with the rain falling and the hearts falling, you know, some of it during the rain. I did the calendar, my goals, my milestones, important, and we know Easter past and our anniversary was on the 20th so this was a kind of standard format for my um, calendar and then here I did the habit tracker a bit different I just drew one big box and I have 30 days of April and then there's a column there I put as total and I had the different habits I wanted to track for this month my sleep tracker is one that has been consistent I haven't changed it up since I started so here we have the days of the month and the hours I start from 9 and go straight up to 10 the next day 
and on this side I have the sleep tracker by the hours so I can calculate how many hours per day at the end and I did a different um, umbrella style here and I did the stripe pattern and for my mood tracker I did this sort of polka dot pattern for the mood tracker and the raindrops I was wondering what to do and then I said the easiest thing I can do is raindrops right so the raindrops I'm gonna color in each day for the modes I have 30 raindrops for the 30 days so it was only after I started to fill in my mood tracker then I realized that I made a, a few mistakes down on this end with the dates I had one with two numbers so I blocked it out using my white out tape yeah so I use the white out tape to blot it out and I just changed this to a number that I didn't have which was 25 right so that was it for my mood tracker this month and my standard weekly setup I did it from April 1st to 4th and then 50 11th we have a little umbrella here with some hearts then April 12th to 18th I drew a close umbrella with two hearts and I did this sort of stripe pattern there and this one April 19th to 25th I did a full color of that with a sort of pinkish purple and the last page I have here is April 26th to 30th I use different shades of purple and the silver to do this last umbrella and I decided to put a few lines for my gratitude log here as well as a few lines for the review for the end of the month so guys that's it for my April spread let me know if you liked it all right take care Stay safe and let love reign in your hearts. Do have a blessed one. Bye.